In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. We welcome all of those who may be visiting today because of the ordination. We're uh, overjoyed as a parish to celebrate uh, Deacon Gaduti's ordination yesterday and to be able to um, hear his homily today. Um, I think he's nervous, he's a little shaky, but um, <laughs> just say a prayer for him, he'll be fine. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my actions. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Excelsis Deo. Et in cielo pacificus, ore voluntatis, donamus me, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te,
us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord.
reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The word of the Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. First, I will say that it is good to be here with all of you. It's truly blessed to be a part of this parish. And I'll begin with the words from the Apostle Paul, celebrated in the Liturgy of the Hours this morning. As for myself, brothers, when I came to you, I did not come proclaiming God's testimony with any particular eloquence or wisdom. No, I determined that while I was with you, I would speak of nothing but Jesus Christ and him crucified. 
brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, most fully revealed to us by the power of the Holy Spirit in the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so it's fitting that I proclaim nothing but what Paul himself had said, that when he comes into a church, he proclaims nothing but Jesus Christ and him crucified. And he does so, as he says in a, later in the letter, we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to the Jews, foolishness to the Gentiles, but for us who believe the wisdom and the power of God. Our Lord Jesus, when he gave himself up for us as the Gospels proclaim, did so at the command of the Father, not because the Father wanted him to suffer, but because there is a real debt incurred by sin, a real brokenness that is undergone, and a real healing that must take place. And no mere man, no mere man can do this. No mere man has the power within himself to save himself, as the Psalms proclaim. But God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, and he, not losing his divinity, mysteriously, in an incomprehensible mystery, took to himself a human nature, united in his sacred and divine person. And in that, as that person, in his humanity, died for each and every one of us. And not, not just to proclaim something, not just to speak words, but to affect something in each and every one of our lives. And that effect is the life of the Holy Trinity dwelling in your soul. And you live it through the Son. For God created each and every one of us to be elevated to eternal sonship through grace, so that what Jesus Christ is by nature, we become truly by grace. And so on this solemnity, brothers and sisters, I can only encourage you to hope and believe the promise of God the Father, who sends his Holy Spirit through the Son, so that each and every believer in his own heart will truly know the Lord. And this is not just a knowledge. This is an intimate relationship, affected truly affected in our souls if we open it to grace and turn away from our sins by the power of the love of Jesus Christ who gave himself for our sins so that we might with him for all eternity, both body and soul, be sons of our Heavenly Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. 
and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God has revealed the truth of who he is, an eternal exchange of love, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and he has destined us to share in that exchange. Filled with joy, we now pray. That the preaching and teaching of the church will bless all with the desire to share in the life of the Blessed Trinity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God. That through the justice of earthly rulers, all will come to know God's authority and majesty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God. For our parish community, that our unity in the faith and as children of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit will never diminish. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God. For those who live without faith, that the love of the Blessed Trinity will awaken in their minds and give hope to their hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who struggle with depression, addiction, loneliness, or mental illness, that they will experience the consolation of knowing they are loved by the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace this week to live each moment consciously united to God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of our departed brothers and sisters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that those ordained to the ministry of the diaconate yesterday morning be filled with the gifts of the Holy Spirit as they continue their journey to the holy priesthood. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, all who have asked us to, for prayers, and all for whom we have promised to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, let us remain completely vigilant in our faith and wholly given over to your creative action through Christ our Lord.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance for what you have revealed to us of your glory we believe equally of your son and of the holy spirit so that in the confessing of the true and eternal godhead you might be adored in what is proper to each person their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, on the day before he was to suffer. He took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord. We, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept, the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and free f and from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of, our, of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a, a quick word uh, again of thanks for everyone's presence. If you weren't expecting this when you come, came to the Nine this morning, well, you got a special gift. Um, I especially want to thank our seminarians uh, who are here, as well as uh, Deacon Peter Rushalelli, soon to be Father Rushalelli in a couple of weeks, and Father Carlson, of course, as well as our combined choir with the Seminary Scola and our choir with Danilo and Manny. Um, and you listened to your grandmother and you kept it short. So. <laughs> the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast upon the sea, and all evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the one of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, the immaculate heart of Mary, St. Mark, all you holy angels and saints, 